super easy to animate characters in Roblox with Cartwheel. Today we're going to show you how. We have a huge motion library, you can do text animation, you can also create animation from video reference. Let's get started. I've got a character right here that I created in Roblox. We're gonna go through how to import this character into Cartwheel so you can see it like this, and how you can put some animation on it, export it, and put it back into Roblox. To get started in Roblox, let's create a brand new base plate template. To create that My Avatar character, we go to the Avatar button at the top of the screen, click on Character. We want to select R6, and then click the My Avatar. There you go, we've got this little cute guy here. We're gonna export this, but first, we need to put him into a T-Pose. We're gonna click on this uh, animation button right here and now you'll be able to select different parts of the character and what I want to do is I'm just gonna take take the arms and move them up into this t-pose shape like that it's perfect now that we're done right click on this rig this is the character I'm gonna call it my avatar I select my character save export export selection my avatar from Roblox Studio. I'm gonna export this. It's gonna create an OPJ file, which is perfect. Hit save. Now we're gonna pop over to Blender. Okay, so now we're in Blender. First thing I'm gonna do is just delete some of this unnecessary stuff I don't need. I'm gonna import that OBJ that we just did. Select import wavefront OBJ. Go find your OBJ that you just created. My avatar from Roblox Studio OBJ. That's all we need to do. Don't change anything else. Import. Here is your little character that you just imported. First thing I'm gonna do is right click set geometry to origin. There we go. Now it sets it to the right place. I'm going to move it up the ground. I'm going to orient it to the X axis. So it's like that. Looks good. There we go. If you want to see the shaders, you just click on this little viewport shading button. Now you can see our little characters shading. So what we did here is we imported this. We set it to the origin. We rotated it a little bit. That's all we really need to do. So now we're going to export this. So that's ready to go to cartwheel. Select the character. Come up here to export as FBX. And we're going to do a couple settings in here. We're going to change this where it says path mode. We're going to change this to copy. And we're going to click this little boop, tiny button right there. Make sure you click that. That enables embed textures. That way you'll see the textures when you bring them where you want to go. We're going to select only armature and mesh. And then also down here in animation, we're going to uncheck this little NLA strips. We're ready to go. Now I'm going to do my avatar from Blender. Export. Cool. Let's go into Cartwheel. So if you were to open up Cartwheel, it will look something like this. This. this is Axel. Axel is our little wooden mannequin. This is sort of the stage that you see when you start a new project at Cartwheel. We want to bring in our character that we just made. So I'm going to click over here in this character button. Click upload your character. Click on this select your file. My avatar from Blender. Cool. Select that. Character uploading. Okay, so character is uploading. It's going to take a couple seconds to upload the character. Okay, character is done. It's uploaded. And look at that. It's already animating. Here, there's some knobs in here that you can adjust sort of the position of the head. If you want it to feel a little bit more normal or something, maybe the arms are too low you can kind of do some quick tweaks in here you can also view this in a t-pose if you'd rather just see what it looks like or like aerobics animation it's looking good for me it looks good okay now's the fun part let's start putting some animation on it select the motion library type what you're looking for let's say i want a jump i want to go with this one and click add animation there you go so now your character has some animation on it i like this jump and i want to add another action at the end of it go back to the motion library i like this punch that's pretty cool i'm gonna add this so you've got your little jump animation and then when that finishes it's going to go right into the punch which is cool this little carrot down here i'm going to shorten this because it's a little long I'm done and now it's going to restitch that together so now i've got a shorter jump action and then it goes right into the punch you can also rearrange these motions if you want to put the punches at the beginning you can just do that so now the punches are first this is pretty cool so let's add one more action this time i'm going to do video to animation where i'm going to just upload some video okay, this is the stock footage we got of some a woman doing some dancing. Oh, cool. She does a little sit down at the end. That's neat. I'm just going to trim that off so it ends like right there. Yeah, that's good. Cool. I like it. Click add motion. And now it's generating animation from the video. <laughs> Look at that. It's so fun. It's great. So you can. You, just like before, if you want to move the animations around, let's say I want the dancing early, you can just change the order. So now I've got the boxer, and then it goes right into the dancing. <laughs> and then it goes to the jump. One thing I found that's kind of neat about these Roblox characters, they're just so small. If I change the playback speed to like 1.5, it feels a little bit more correct for these little characters because they're just small. <laughs> I got like dancing, it looks great. <laughs> 
make a historical jump. So yeah, I'm, I'm showing a bunch of things. I'm showing this, this ability to sort of rearrange your animation. This is our sequence builder tool. So you can just build a sequence of animations or actions this way. And you can use video reference. You can use our motion library. You can also do text animation. If you type right here, you can type something walk like a zombie. Let's see what that does. So we got character is walking like a zombie. Nice. Just like we asked for it. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Okay, so we got a nice little sequence here that we built. We got some, a boxer, and then it goes into some dancing that we got from a video. Then it does a little vertical jump, and then it goes into walk like a zombie. All right, let's get this over into Roblox. So we're gonna go up here to the download button, click FBX, and I'm gonna change this setting to Blender. Change this to 30 FPS and hit download. We're gonna pop back into Blender. So here we are in Blender again. I'm gonna delete this guy, we don't need them anymore. So now I'm gonna import that FBX from Cartwheel again. So just a quick little thing we gotta do here, not very much. I'm gonna leave everything the way it is. I'm just gonna check this ignore leaf bones button. By default, that's off and import this. So here's our character that we just imported from Cartwheel. And we can actually hit play and you can watch all the animation that we just made. So about the only thing I did was just remove those leaf bones. That was all I really needed to do. Let's export it one last time, export it as an FBX. And this time we're gonna call it from Blender second time. <laughs> everything else the same. Keep that NLA strips turned off, armature and mesh, copy, and make sure you check that little embed textures box right there and export FBX. Cool, so let's pop back over to Blender on the home tab right here. Click on the import 3D button. My avatar from Blender second time. Open that up, here it is, there's our little file. I'm just gonna check the anchored box, import. There's our little character, look at that. Let's move them towards the middle a little bit. I'm just gonna scale it up. Let's put some animation on it. To put the animation on the character, go back over to Avatar, click on Animation, and then I'll bring up the Animation Editor right here. And your whatever you have selected is gonna show up right down here. And now I'm gonna name my animation. I'm gonna call it My Cartwheel Avatar. Click on the little three dots, Import from FBX Animation. And we're gonna select My Avatar from Blender second time. Click that box, it's gonna bring up this little pop-up, click FBX. There we go, cartwheel animation in Roblox. Just for fun, I like to kind of put it in the in the engine. If I come over here and hit play to start my game, the character is just standing there. I want him to be animating. Looks like he's a little tiny, a little small too. So I'm gonna scale him up just a little bit more. Pop out of the animation editor for a second, and I'm gonna scale it up just a little bit more. Go back to the animation editor. Okay, so we want to publish this animation to Roblox so that it will that we can load it in the game. So we go publish to Roblox. We're gonna call it Cartwheel Animation and hit save. And now it's uploading this animation to Roblox Studio. Great, submit it. Just one thing to do, click on this little ID to copy that. That number is important. So save that number, it says ID copied, so we're good. We can go ahead and close that. And now what we need to do is, so here's our little character right there. This is the one that we imported in the animation controller you want to add animation there we go so now the animation is there and then we want to add the id so paste that number in there like that now we also want to add a script you name whatever you want doesn't matter and now for the script i'm going to copy in this text here so local animation controller that's what we're getting so just copy this in and the one thing that i'm going to add is there's a little anim track that just speed so i'm going to make it play at 1.5x because i think that just works really well for these tiny little characters and that is it enter that script and you're done hit play and there's my little character they're doing their animation so i've got everything i've got the zombie it's a long animation punching and it does a little dance and it does <laughs> it does a little jump and then walks like a zombie that is it that's all you have to do all right that's it for this tutorial that's cartwheel animation into roblox just one more little sneak peek. This character right here is a character that we're working on that we're gonna put right here in the cartwheel menu right here. So next to the Unreal Mannequin, you can just select R15 Roblox character. Potentially by the time you watch this video, this character might already be in there, but this is just a sneak peek. If you want it to be a whole lot easier, you can just take this character right here, put your animation right on it. And if you wanna download this, go straight to Roblox. You don't have to go to Blender. All you have to do is put some animation on this character. I'm gonna do like a kick. I like that one. Woo, got my little kick. Nice, just download the animation, FBX to Blender and hit 
download button. Okay, that's done downloading. Let's pop over to Roblox, open up a brand new experience. All we have to do is import that cartwheel animation that we just downloaded. Here it is right here. I'm gonna check insert scene position and anchored. Hit import and just like that, there is your little character right here in Roblox. Move them up, they're on the base plate. And if you wanna put some animation on it, click on the avatar, click animation, click on your character and then select import from FBX animation and select that file again. Same one that you just downloaded, just select the exact same file. There you go. If you want to see what it looks like playing at 1.5x like we did before, I just went over here to this little gear, changed the playback speed, I changed it to custom and put 1.5x, and now it's playing at that same speed that we saw it in Cartwheel. Simple as that, no blender involved. So again, that's it. Thanks for watching our tutorial today on how to get some Roblox animation from Cartwheel into your Roblox game or your environment, or your studio. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to see more content like this. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, add them in the comments below. We're pretty good about responding to questions if you run into problems. I'm also gonna put our Discord link right here so that you can join us on our Discord. That's a good place to ask more technical questions if you have them about Cartwheel. We have a pretty active community there, so you might be able to get us to answer the question or somebody else might be be able to help you. Also, Cartwheel is free to try. You can go to this website right here. All you need is an email address to sign up. Excited to see what you make. Happy animating.